do you want to add sleeves to your Yeep in the blender, then this is the right tutorial for you. This will have no weight painting in it, it will be beginner friendly, but I do expect you to have watched the other videos that I've already posted on my channel. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, you will need to find some sleeves. For the sake of this video, I'll just use the content creator sleeves, which are called the creator arms overlayer sleeves. Now what you want to do is you want to, first of all, add the correct texture to it by going into shading, press shift A, image texture, connect the color with the base color, press open, and then find the global color palette.png, go back to layout, and it should be nice and colored. If you aren't able to see the colors and it's all gray, then hold down Z and then go down with your mouse to material preview and let go. Now you can see the colors. Next up, what you want to do is press slash on your keyboard. This will hide everything else and if you press it again, then you can see the Yeep. But for now you want to hide it. And now you want to go into your settings by pressing command comma or going into edit preferences. Now go to input and press emulate numpad. Now if you go into edit mode by clicking the object, object mode, go into edit mode, make sure that we're using face select mode, then press one of the faces and now our objective is to delete one of the sleeve sides. So press command plus after you select the sleeve, uh, si uh, face until it doesn't do it anymore, select a new face by pressing shift and selecting it. Now I'll continue pressing command plus and rinse and repeat until you've selected everything that is on one half of the sleeve. Make sure to get all the faces, otherwise the rest will look a bit wonky and you won't be able to follow properly. Make sure you get the ones on the bottom too. Now what you want to do is you want to press X on your keyboard and then delete vertices. Now you can see there are some faces left over, that's fine, just select them, press X, press the delete versus vertices, and now you should be left with one half of the sleeves. Now what you want to do is you want to again go back into edit mode, and our goal is to se separate half of the sleeve. What we can do is we can use the same method as before, so select about a half of the sleeve, press command plus until you get literally the half. Now do this for the other side again because sometimes it doesn't work on both sides the first time. And now is where it gets interesting. Press P on your keyboard to separate by selection. Press that, go out of edit mode and you can see that you've got two separate objects. This is exactly what we want. Now, by pressing slash on your keyboard to see everything again, if you select both parts of the sleeve, and then you go into this view, R, and then press 9-0 to rotate it at 90 degrees. Go into the Y view, again, press R, 9D, and then hit the negative on your keyboard, the minus sign, to flip it over. And then with G, you can grab it, align it, and maybe scale it a bit to fit the Yeep a bit better. But make sure there's no blue parts showing, so I still have to work on that a bit. Once you've aligned the sleeves, now we've basically already finished. This is the easiest part. Now what you want to do is you want to select one part of it, go to modifiers on the right hand side, press add modifier, mirror, Select the head of the Yeep, press Command A to confirm, and then do the same for the second part of the sleeve. For both of the sleeves, you should go into edit mode, you can you hold down Z to go into wireframe mode, and then separate by selection again. Do the same for the other side, 
just for this side sometimes they overlap that's completely fine just go into edit mode and use the same technique we used before just select some faces press command plus and now it looks good and we can press p separate by separate by selection it seems like i didn't get all of the faces then we can go back and fix that p separate by selection now we've got all of our sleeves prepared and this is the final and easiest step by far. Press the armature. This only works with the version one armature and go into the data section. Unhide the base bones. You can see here by clicking this eyeball. Now go and select one part of the sleeve. So let's start with this one. Then shift select the armature, go into pose mode, select the bone that is closest, the big bone, this one, command P, bone. Now do the same for the other parts of the sleeve, command P, bone, and then same on the other side, command P, bone. So select the sleeve, shift select the armature, Go into pose mode, select the bone, command P, bone. Now, if you press, you can unhide, once you've finished, you can unhide the bones. If you select the armature, go into pose mode, grab the arms, you can see the sleeves are working. Now, let's go into some tips and tricks. First of all, when you pose your armature or your yeep, you can see there's a hole. This can be fixed by, um, first of all, Commanding your your pose and then go into object mode select the sleeve then go into side view wireframe edit mode and then this version where you select the individual vertices select everything that's on the side and it should look like a nice little ring press F to fill it and you should be good now if you go back and you repose it you shouldn't have that problem on this sleeve if you do the same for the other sleeve let's just do that real quick then you won't have any problems at all so again z hold z wireframe select all of these make sure it's a nice circle press f on your keyboard to fill it go back and test it it should work very smoothly very nicely and this doesn't require any weight painting so no headaches required lastly now let's take a look at some different types of sleeves and how I would approach those because every sleeve is a bit different for example if we take a look at the astronaut uh, but the wishlist version of it I would uh, do these sleeves slightly different because if I add the correct texture to it, you can see that um, most of it is just this base orange color. And then on the sleeves, we've only got the um, astronaut badge and we've got this commander um, name tag. In this case, I would just select the faces as we did before and leave out these special parts, so the commander and this ring part. Uh, then I would retexture the um, sleeve of the Yeep and just parent these details onto it. So what I mean with that is you could um, add the global uh, Yeep's color palette, go into UV editing, and then you can go into material view, A to select all, now A to select all on this side, scale it down and then bring it to the orange by using S and G and you can see I've got the same color um, that's how I would approach this type of sleeve and I cannot wait to see what you guys make of this Good.